hello everyone and uh, welcome to my youtube channel now in this video we are going to uh, solve this question that is visible on your screen we are provided with a regular polygon a regular pentagon a b c d e of side 30 mm and this pentagon is parallel to vertical plane okay now this is parallel to vertical plane it simply means that uh, this particular plane is uh, perpendicular to the horizontal plane now the side ab is perpendicular to hp that simply means that the pentagon will be pe perpendicular to hp so we are going to draw the projections of this pentagon so to start select a line now to draw this as an xy line i am just placing this line here of any length now in uh, basically we are provided with a pentagon that is parallel to vp so if a pentagon is parallel to VP, it simply means that its front view will be a pentagon in itself. Okay, so front view will be the pentagon and one side AB is perpendicular to HP. So basically one side of this pentagon is perpendicular to horizontal plane. So it simply means that it will be perpendicular to the XY line as well. So without further delay, what we are going to do is we are going to select polygon from here now enter the number of sides so number of sides should be five now we have two different options here one is we can specify the center of polygon so if we are provided with the distance of uh, side of polygon side of pentagon from center or distance of a corner of polygon from center is given then we are going to specify the center now in this case we are provided with side okay so we are going to use the edge option so you can simply press e and then enter or click on edge now specify the first point now i'm specifying this point as the first point of the edge i'm going to draw the ab line first so ab line is perpendicular to hp so basically it should be perpendicular like this one okay now uh, in order to draw it exactly what i'm going to use is simply use at the rate now what is the side side is 30 mm and angle should be 90 press enter so this is the pentagon that we needed to draw now you can uh, move this pentagon a little bit specify the center as the base point and move this pentagon a little bit like this one now this side is a b okay so uh, we are going to uh, use text command to mention the to mention the uh, points okay so let's write uh, this point as a now in order to uh, make it of correct size use size three units press enter okay it was not covered so select it and make it three and then enter now it's okay now this is a front view so that's why it should be a dash okay click on this and move it a little bit closer now use copy command specify this as base point okay uh, hold on for a moment select it use copy then specify a base point as this corner now we are going to place these text on every single corner like this so you can place it like this now we are going to change their names as well so let's place it somewhere here press escape now if this one is a dash this one should be b dash this one will be c dash this one should be d dash now we are going to move it out of this drawing okay so that the diagram is a little bit clearer press escape delete this one and this one should be e dash okay so that's how you are going to give numbering to this particular pentagon now uh, to draw the projection to draw the top view of this particular line we are going to use line command but before that we need projection of these points so we need projection of these points and in order to draw the projection of these points we are going to use ray command this one so select these points press enter 
repeat ray repeat ray and this is how we can draw the projection now i'm just dropping a line like this and i will be removing the non required portion by using trim command we are not provided with the distance from vertical plane okay so that's why we do not need to worry about any of uh, these distances now this particular line and this pentagon they are our main uh, diagram so i'm going to increase their thickness a little bit it is not being displayed so go to line weight settings click on display line weight click ok now these are the projections that we needed so basically this point it should be d dash okay uh, i have moved it so just paste d dash here not d dash this one is top view so we are going to remove dash from here okay now this particular point it should represent two of these uh, points one will be your e dash we will remove dash from here so one will be e and another one will be c and remove dash from here we are done now this point it should represent two points one is a another one is b a so let's remove dash from here and this one should be b so this is how you are going to draw the projection of this particular pentagon now in order to give dimensions simply use dim and place these dimensions like this now for this point as well start from this now we don't need this dimension but we can place if we want okay so now if you want to uh, if you want to find out the angle internal angle of a regular pentagon you can uh, use angle command as well dim angle okay dim angular not angle angular so go to this one now select dim angular from here dim angular then specify first point and second point and this is your internal angle that you needed now select it right click select similar and take a look these dimensions are selected this one is also selected and we are going to change their color instead of by layer use a different color for these points and for projection lines as well i'm going to use a little lighter color select this one so this is the drawing for this particular question i hope all of you have understood it so that's all for this video thank you very much and have a nice day